I'm in Tacoma, Washington on a speaking tour with my friend Paul Marcotte. When I'm on a speaking tour, I try to deliver my presentations with the latest information. I, I deliver approximately one presentation each day. And lately, I've, I'm able to include new information with every presentation. In other words, evidence for abrupt climate change is coming now on a daily basis. Let me give a couple of examples. In Cryosphere today, it was reported that the Arctic sea ice cover declined by about 320,000 square kilometers between the 17th and 18th of June, 2015. In 2007-2012, when the Arctic sea ice experienced significant declines, the term century event was developed to describe 100,000 square kilometers of sea ice loss in a day, and it happened several times during those periods. But this is the big one. This is 320,000. It's called a three-century event. The 320,000 square kilometers of sea ice lost in a single day between June 17th and June 18th, 2015. It increasingly appears that we're headed for an ice-free Arctic this September for the first time in human history. The second example comes from Science Advances, the journal, on the 19th of June, 2015. And the journal article, consistent with the conservative nature of the scientific community, finally concludes that we're in the midst of the sixth great extinction. And it's, it's a, a rapidly eclipsing other extinction events. The journal article is, uh, is written by several scientists, mostly at Stanford University, and one of them, the lead author on the paper, Gerardo Cabellos, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly came over the quote in an interview separate from the journal article. And in that interview, he points out that this great extinction event is going to wipe out a lot of species. And the first among them will be Homo sapiens. That's a big deal. We're headed for the, our own abyss and the scientific literature has finally caught up with that reality. At the edge of extinction, only love remains.